Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make the loom for your child's weaving project. And I said that you needed a five, in the supplies, I said that you uh, needed at least a five by seven piece of cardboard, and that's fine. It can be a little bit bigger than that. I also said that you could use a cereal box, and if you do use a cereal box, you're going to need to cut the front and the back off and glue them together to make them extra thick. You can either glue them or tape them. You can tape around them too so that they're extra padded. Um, I just used a wing off of a Amazon box. If you have any type of cardboard like that, that will be perfect. So to start and to put the notches at the top and the bottom of your loom, I'm gonna use a Sharpie to show you how to do that because a pencil probably won't show up. But you're going to start by putting your ruler at the edge and just using the thickness of your ruler, you're gonna make a line here and a line at the bottom. Okay, using your ruler, you're going to measure at the half inch right on that black line that you made. Okay, you're gonna to come to the middle and you're going to make another, let me make sure I did that right. Okay, you're gonna come into the middle and make another set of dots in the middle. And then come to the bottom and make another set of dots at the bottom. Okay, it's a little tricky, but you're going to take your ruler and line up these dots. If two of them line up, that's perfect. You're going to draw a line at the top and you're going to draw a line at the bottom. You're gonna leave that dot in the middle by itself. You're going to do that all the way across. Lining up three dots is the best way to make a perfect line. So if they line up, that's perfect. This is definitely something that your child can do. It's practicing measuring, practicing making straight lines. It's perfect for them, especially if you need to get a little bit of math in for the homeschooling. It's fun math, I guess. Okay, so now that is done, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut each one of these lines, not going over that black line. You don't wanna go over that black line. You're gonna just cut the notches one by one all the way to the black line. Again, something your kids can do. You have your loom ready to go. Okay, any questions, just post them below uh, in the comments and I will help you. If you wanna show me what kind of cardboard you have, that's fine as well. I will be posting another video as to how to cut apart your bags into strips so that they're ready to be woven in onto the loom. Okay, I'll see you later, bye-bye.